Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Unit 4 Financials by Coda Feature Spotlight series. In this episode, we're going to look at systems review. Let's start by answering, why do you need one? There are numerous reasons why you may need one. One of the main reasons is that you've been using Unit 4 Financials by Coda for many, many years, and at the time you implemented, you had certain processes that worked. And because of either statutory regulations or different processes, you are now having problems. Another reason is that you've upgraded your Unit 4 Financials by Coda version. For example, if you upgraded from an old version of Financials, let's say version 12. Version 12 came in in 2012. And you're upgrading to the very latest continuous release version. During your upgrade, you're going to get so much functionality from version 13, version 14, and then all the versions of continuous release. With so much new functionality in there, and if you've upgraded without making use of that functionality, then you're missing a trick. To expand on that point, when you go, for example, from any version, whether it's 12, 13, or 14, your user profile is saying, this is what I'm allowed to use. And even that is for the install user, and as you probably know, the install user is God. But when you upgrade from an earlier version, all the new functionality is not given automatically, even to install. So when you're looking at Unit 4 Financials, you cannot see the new functionality unless you've been given it. Identifying unused functionality is a big thing when it comes to systems review. As Financials has enhanced with each version, there has been an improvement in the ways that you can report. For example, in version 12, Unit 4 brought out metadata, and metadata was brought in specifically at that time for the procurement and invoice matching modules, giving users an option to report in a more comprehensive way using metadata than the generic browse and browse details. So Unit 4 decided that they would extend metadata and they introduced something called generic browse. Generic Browse allows you to look at data views with standard data views to create your reports. With metadata, if you've got the skills on board within your own organization, you can create your own SQL views and create complex reports, not just looking at financials, but across all the different modules. So, you could create a report that's looking at procurement, the orders, looking at invoice matching, the invoices, and looking in financials to see the paid invoices. You can have a report across a broad number of modules by creating a specific view looking at those modules. So there is room for improving reporting. And the same with this security. You want to improve it. There are new features in recent versions which help you improve security. You've got the ability to have capabilities by company. For example, a person in one company who's able to create journals but then you may want that person to be able to read or look at other companies but not be able to create journals. And that is possible through the user profile having multiple capabilities per company. And not only having capabilities by company, but having capabilities and roles by company. You can be as flexible as possible with the security within your own organization. Then there is improving the interfaces. It may be that when you implemented financials, you were using linked tables. But now there is the ability to use web services. If you've got a web-based product, then you know the most up-to-date way of using financials through an interface is web services. What does a system review cover? It covers the general ledger. It may be that you have got issues with currency revaluation or allocations. When we do a review, we tend to concentrate on those areas. There is the ability to look at the order to cash. There is now a new billing module in financials that came out at version 14. Previously, it used to come from any Salesforce or another order processing system directly into financials. Now we have information going from a sales order processing system directly into the billing module, which issues the invoices, and then it goes directly into financials as a sales invoice. It will also cover a credit management and the accounts receivable function. If you're looking at purchase to pay, you may have the procurement and invoice matching modules and accounts payable modules. So we tend to look at the whole process to make sure it's fit for purpose. If you ask me what's the most complicated part of financials, there's no doubt that it's invoice matching. 
If you've got invoice matching problems, that is an area that needs a lot of attention. If the invoice matches the receipt, it's simple. But if it doesn't, it could be something to do with the process that's driving it. We also look at the treasury function. How do you post cash receipts? Is it automated? Do you do statement processing? Again, this is something that we can look at and advise on how you can increase efficiencies and performance in that area. Are you doing project accounting? Are you a project accounting business? Do you work for the defence? Do you have to control the projects within financials? And again, back to reporting, we cover those areas in a lot of detail. In the old days, we used to come on site for a couple of days and sit down with your staff and go through each area in detail. But since COVID, we found that our clients like the idea of doing remote sessions. So we tend to organise them in small sessions of five or six sessions of two to three hours each, concentrating on the various areas, whether it's a AP, AR, purchasing, etc. And these are normally held via team meetings. The next stage is to create a comprehensive report covering all the short and medium term issues that we found and any long term recommendations. We look at all the issues, compartmentalize them into short, medium, and long term, and then put them forward to you for approval. Then there is the possibility of issuing an SOW, normally covering the short term recommendations. The short term recommendations are the ones that are quick fixes, not much cost involved and can be done in a couple of weeks. There's a typical output from a systems review. This is a summary showing the reference within the report, what the recommendation is, what's the priority, whether it's A, B or C, whether it's a short, medium or long-term timeline, and where you've got improvements reducing operational risk, productivity gains or improving reporting. Millennium Systems Review are designed to help you identify areas where you may be able to improve performance and ensure you extract the maximum benefit from your investment in Unit 4 Financials. You can watch more of our Unit 4 Financials Spotlight series on our YouTube channel. Here at Millennium Consulting, we provide dedicated support for your business. Our team of consultant-grade application and technical experts provide you with a wealth of experience in supporting mission-critical systems. We monitor and manage your solutions so you do not have to, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Contact us for further details by visiting our website, millenniumconsulting.com. Thank you.